Hi, today my guest in video book reviewing land is Lubna Hassan, and we're going to talk about a book that's one of my favorites and one of her favorites also, Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. We are sitting awkwardly very close together on this <laughs> chair to tell you about um, how we both come across it, and I'll start by telling you how I learned about Eat, Pray, Love was when my friend Courtney in uh, Miami told me by the poolside, near the beach actually, um, that this book had a lot of uh, great writing in it, but, but that it was a very philosophical and interesting book and she thought I would really enjoy it. And it was the first book Courtney ever recommended to me. And I had a lot of respect for her, still have a lot of respect for her, and I was anxious to find out about what was so interesting to her in terms of uh, books that were published. So when I asked Libna, what books she's read in English and that she really liked. I was delighted to learn that Eat, Pray, Love was one of her favorites too. And maybe I'll just say, Lubna is just a little younger than me, because <laughs> I'm 47 and she's 19. And her background's a little different from mine, but we both live in Switzerland. And she came here from um, Libya through Italy where she then came to Switzerland, and I came from America through England. And we've both lived here for a um, number of years now. And our perspectives are different, but we both really enjoyed this book. Yep. So now I'll turn it over and ask Lubna to talk about how she chose to read it and how she came across it. First of all, hello. And what made me read this book, because it talks about three important thing in life that we cannot live without them eat and pray and love I mean they're all important to us as a human and what I like about this book that it makes us appreciate more and just enjoy what life gave us because sometimes with work and life we forget to enjoy it and appreciate it more like enjoy food and just have fun and be with people we love and friends and have a good relationship with God because that's help a lot and also I learned that if something really bad happens in life, it's not the end of the world. We just have to keep going, be strong. And appreciating what we yeah. already have. That's, the, that's yeah. sort of what you told me about yeah. the eat section, to appreciate your, your loved ones and the time that you have to spend with yeah. them and around the table, I suppose. Yeah. So are you a fan of Elizabeth Gilbert now? Yeah. She has a new book out right now, fiction. We didn't rehearse this part, so I'm surprising Luca. <laughs> okay. um, but she has a new uh, novel out right now okay. that's pretty different from what Eat, Pray, Love is. Oh, yeah. Do you think you're going to want to read it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I bet you'll like it. I've got to read it too. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about your experience with Eat, Pray, Love? When it, whether you've recommended it to other friends or whether you uh, read it again? Traveling. Because traveling make us, yeah, that make us earn and just have new experience and knowing new cultures and meeting people and make friends and see some some qualities in us that we haven't seen. Mm -hmm. Just learning other language and see the world around us. Cool lesson to learn from a book yeah. and from life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for exactly. being my guest on our teeny tiny chair today. Thank you. <laughs>